welcome to kids another channel today we're talking about bones so a bone uh, is a, an infant structure uh, in our bodies that keep our body stable and uh, they're in different shapes or sizes based on where they are so but, uh, but uh, when you're born you have like 300 but when you're adult you have like a uh, uh, two, uh, 206. Let me show you why this happens. So, you're basically, your bones merge together because you're getting stronger uh, as you grow. And that requires uh, uh, less bones and also fuse together to make more strength in the bones. Then combine to make a bigger and stronger bone. But it would make less since it requires about like two bones and that would decrease it by one bone. So, so uh, when you're a tiny bit, when you're a baby, you require tiny bones, including uh, in every body, in, in every part of your body. Uh, your hands, hands, arms, legs, feet. But as we grow, we need bigger bones. Mm -hmm. And as I said, they will be uh, bigger. When you grow bigger and stronger, your bones uh, have to be bigger and stronger in order to actually, uh, actually uh, be a normal you, like walk, move your hands like this, pick up stuff, uh, and also, and also, if you're unusual why this shirt is here, it's just because that it's summer. And I'm wearing this because it's still so hot in our house. <laughs> so there's also a disease about bones. <laughs> FOP. What is that? So it's basically a disease where uh, any damaged uh, tissue would be would form a new bone, and it will form a new skeleton, a secondary skeleton, <laughs> and it restricts the, the patient's ability to actually move. So they're in a paralysis. So it's, so it's a disease, and they also don't live. The, for more than 40 years with this disease and it's well, a very weird one because it literally forms a secondary skeleton. A paralysis is where you simply can't move. Can't move. Mm -hmm. Not even your head. You just stay like this, you barely move. Like, like that much. <laughs> so calcium makes bones stronger and flexible. Flexible is where you simply do things like split. Mm -hmm. And also you do, uh, and also if you're double jointed, that can happen as well. What is double jointed? It means that you're so good at flexibility because you have another joint. Oh. And when you break one, it's probably going to be as normal. As long as it doesn't break the top one. For example, if it was in my arm, this is the top one, this is uh, the second one. Mm -hmm. This one will be broken, I can't move my hand. And uh, they come up with calcium and collagen. So a uh, calcium can also uh, can come from drinks like milk. A uh, calcium can only build up when only there's a large amount of of vitamin D, which I think it comes from the sun, but it's probably vitamin uh, C though. No, D. I think D comes from the sun. You can actually just go outside. Okay. The sun, and then now you got your vitamin D for the calcium building up. So it can be a disorder that, that actually uh, will hurt your bones by a lot. Hint, being tall. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you probably know what gigantism. No, gigantism is where you, what is it? Is it a tumor? A tumor in the pituitary, I think. <laughs> When, mm -hmm. when the whole gives just too much growth hormone, and your bones are, and your bones are also affected by this. Mm -hmm. So there's less amounts of calcium, even though they just go outside, because uh, the bones, every single bone will be affected. Mm -hmm. And then without enough calcium, they will be affected even more. And without running outside, they will be affected even more. Based on how big they are, uh, when they are big, uh, they they have instability in like what I say, the middle. Because it's the most thinnest part. You know, mm. I think like, so it's so easier to put them this way and actually peeling off like that way. 
They look when like I really do. stiff. Right? Like they have posture. Yeah, like their postures now they have to bend like this like an elderly man. A woman. Because again, also the vertebrae and spine is uh, is also affected and they said every bone. And the vertebrae and spine is probably part of a bone. So Okay, so the name of the tallest man was Robert Lalo standing in almost nine feet okay. tall. I mean, uh, when he was lying down, he would be as wide as this entire room. Right over there, all the way to there, it's going to be his height. Mm -hmm. When he was lying down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the lifespan is really low. Well, Robert Wadlow, uh, Wadlow was literally 21 years old. Still alive? He was, no, he, he died in 1923. But he was the tallest man that had ever been alive. Uh, had Heather been alive? Get it? Heather? <laughs> ever? <laughs> Heather be ever be alive? That had ever been alive? But Sultan Colson from Turkey is uh, is the tallest man uh, alive right now. He is about uh, eight feet tall, and he even got married. Yeah, he got married. Well, for some. Which means you're like two times smaller than I expected. I'm now bending my neck and showing like how small okay. I would be. It's uh, so gruesome. Uh, it's called by called on hormone deficiency. Uh -huh. They're simply smaller. Like uh, when they when they were a baby, they grow like only a bit. Like mm -hmm. uh, like a person in India, Jodi Amdi. <laughs> which is 26 years old, is a woman, but still very small. So the bones are small. They simply like grow a bit and that it stops there. Please <laughs> get that bell and also snap and also ring what people call ring the bell. So, uh, so, so they will get notifications of what is the newest episode. Bye. Uh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Just please. Why isn't anyone subscribing yet? Probably because uh, we haven't been uploading for so long. <laughs> we subscribe and kids on a child. I think that we actually already changed our name, like Keats uh, Knowledge uh, and uh, Entertainment Channel. I hope Mommy will change it soon. Uh, uh, do you want to change it? I think I want to. I would want to because it's literally just organized. Other ones are knowledge channels about air and water, while other ones are literally about uh, just police car songs. <laughs> okay. Bye. See you next time with the next episode.